Here with Coach uh, Van Landingham, a uh, 20-point win for the men tonight. Uh, big performances from Loron Smith, Rob Martinez, uh, Marcus Thompson. W what did you take from the victory tonight, Coach? Um, well, I mean, I took the fact that uh, um, some guys right now, I, I don't, some guys right now are having opportunities to increase their role. And, um, but as we get closer into uh, February, I'm going to really, really have to tighten up uh, the lineup and tighten up the guys that I think have a sense of purpose of what we're trying to accomplish still. And uh, I told those guys, don't let anybody outside of the locker room tell you what you can and can't do. Don't let them tell you you're, you're doing great. And don't let them tell you you can't win it this year. Just stay with the process of improvement. And I told the guys that haven't had a chance to play a lot, this is the, this is the month. Um, with some injuries and Mike Brown until we figure out his knee situation for you to increase your role or decrease your role going into playoff time, which is not far away. It's, it, the season's moving fast. Uh, Coach Jarrell Ellis, three rebounds, but they all came in very key moments. He kind of snuck in there with the trees and was able to grab these in very important situations. How, how important is it for some guys like that to step up and get those key well, Jarrell, when I got him, I thought he was uh, our, our most talented freshman. I mean, he's had a string of bad luck. He broke his foot, uh, and then he sprained his, the same foot like three days ago. Uh, but I tell him every time he's in there, they're not junk minutes. Uh, I, I am trying to groom him to be a fixture in our lineup come mid-February because I believe in his talent. He's plenty talented enough. Uh, to play in our league and contribute. So it doesn't surprise me when he does good things. He just has to be patient during this process and know that every minute he's out there, uh, he has to take advantage of. Uh, as you said earlier, depth is an issue this season. Uh, but Virgil played well today. Bridge, big game offensively, some big defensive uh, uh, stops for him as well. Uh, Marcel, big game, even though the foul out. But he seemed to spark the team in the first half. Well, we got our hands full. Like I said, we're losing a key leader uh, as far as his passion in practice uh, with Eddie uh, Ortiz this week. He's got to go to his internship. I mean, I've got uh, – it's an interesting semester. I've got seven seniors that have schedules where they're taking 21 hours, 19 hours, 22 hours to graduate. So they got a lot on their mind, and, and uh, I just don't want them to have any regrets. But the, the, main, the main thing is they, they, I want them to graduate, and I want them to be proud of uh, – of uh, how they finish their careers here. But you're talking about seven kids that are taking 19 to 23 hours and Eddie leaving this week for an internship at State Farm. And um, so we're going to be even less uh, less depth. We're going to have to have, uh, you're talking about Jarrell and, and some other guys are going to have to play even more Thursday and possibly Saturday. I mean, Eddie's supposed to be getting back Friday night, so we'll be down to 10 guys. But uh, most people in America play seven or eight guys. I'm going to lean on my seniors down the stretch, and those are the guys that are going to um, take us as far as we can go this year. But I'm leaning on my seniors. Uh, Paul Quinn, uh, team coming in on Thursday uh, before conference play gets back uh, into action on Saturday. Uh, a very different Paul Quinn team than what we've seen in the past with a, a lot of your style of run and press. Well, I'll be interested. Like I said, we, we – uh, um, we're going to have to hold down the fort right here during this home stretch and get people healthy, you know, I, I got uh, – and, and get people on the same page and get, get you know, kind of playing as a unit without Trent Cox involved in our program and possibly without Mike. We won't know on Mike's till Wednesday. So right now I don't even want them to focus on that. I want them to focus on what we have in uniform and what we have to do to be the best we can be. Uh, so Paul Quinn's going to be a great challenge because they play fast and play up and down, and uh, I'm really I'm really tightening up my lineup to about eight guys. So we'll we'll see if we can sustain effort and intensity. I'm going to have to use my timeouts. So, but uh, it, it, I'll take the win. It's a great win. Um, any win right now is a great win for any team. I mean, Bacone was a tipping away from beating Texas Wesson. So you got to play the game. That's what I was preaching today. Don't look at standings or where Bacone is, especially with some of our limitations. You got to play the game, and you got to know that uh, every possession counts. So, all right, thank you, Coach. Uh, Saints get the win by 20. Half game behind Sagu for first place in the rack in the wild, wacky rack this year.